Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2018 GMC Acadia, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster 6-wire trailer connector. Now this connector is going to allow our vehicle lights to function properly when we're being flat towed behind a motorhome, for example. It's also going to give you peace of mind knowing that all your lights are functioning to keep you safe and legal. Other motorists are going to appreciate you as well since they're going to be able to know what your intentions are while you're going down the road. Now this product is going to be best for not only replacing any worn out or damaged sockets you may have, but it's also going to be good for your first initial setup. So this is going to allow you to turn your four pole flat connector into a six pole. Now many of our customers wrote in and said they had a little bit of trouble finding a black connector. And that's what they really like about this one. It actually blends in to most vehicles a little bit better than say either a white or silver connector. If you're a little unsure on what components to use for your flat toe setup, that's totally understandable. However, you definitely will need a six pole connector like this because you have to have lighting on the back of your vehicle when you're going down the road. What you also might be interested in is picking up a flexo coil cord just like this. Now this is actually going to connect your vehicle to your RV. Now once your wiring is plugged in on the lid, it's going to actually have a retainer or a keeper. What that's going to do is when it's sitting down, it's going to help prevent your wiring from getting pulled out. Now the lid itself is actually spring loaded and that's also going to help keep downward pressure on that wiring to help it from coming out. Beginner install our front fascia is going to be removed. Now you're typically going to be installing this plug at the same time when you're installing your flat toe setup. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our four pole flat connector off of our wiring. Just take a pair of snips. And cut it off like that. Now what we're going to do is take our rubber dust cap. Just go ahead and slide that over our wiring. Just push it back out of the way for now. And now we're going to strip this ins insulation back. That way we can connect it to our new socket. Let's take some wire strippers. Then I like to just kind of twist the wiring and get it nice and tight. Now on the back of our socket, we can go ahead and loosen up some of our set screws. That way we can put our wiring in. We're going to be using these four openings. Not only are they marked individually on the back of our socket, but you can also find which each terminal is used for in your instructions. Now before we put our wires into the socket, I like to use a little dielectric grease to put on the end of the wiring just to help protect it from any corrosion. If you need some dielectric grease, you can pick it up on eTrailer.com. First wire we're going to connect is the brown wire. We're going to put it into this socket here. It'll be marked TM. What you do is you just set it down in there. And we'll just tighten up our set screw to hold it in place. ahead and pull on it lightly just to make sure it's secure. We're going to do the white wire next into this socket here. Now this one's going to be marked GD. Now we can do the yellow wire and put it into this socket here. This one's going to be marked LT. And lastly our green wire will go right there. That's going to be marked RT. Now that they're all connected, what I like to do is just use a little more dielectric grease and blob it all over there, just because it can't hurt anything. It's only going to help keep them more protected from the elements. Now we can take our rubber dust cover and slide that over. 
And I like to take some electrical tape, just tape that up for a little added protection. So now we can go ahead and mount our socket. Now what I like to do is to take some washers and put them on the back side and on the front and slide our screw through. Let's go ahead and line our screws up. And get them tightened down. And once we have them started, we can then snug them all the way down. I went ahead and just used a couple of zip ties to secure our wiring to our base plate. Now I went ahead and hooked up our tester. That way we can make sure everything is working properly. If you don't have one of these testers, you can just plug into your setup and do it that way. So now we can check our tail lights, our left turn, our right turn, and our brake lights. Now that we verified everything is working, you can go ahead and reinstall your fascia. But you're only going to want to do that if this is the last thing you have to do for your flat toe setup. If you have other components that still need to get installed in this area, it'd be a good idea to leave it off. That way it'd make your work a little bit easier. Now something I do want to point out in our particular application we actually did have to modify our connector a little bit to get it to fit properly. We just had to remove a little bit of material here along the bottom. And that'll do it for our look at an installation of the Roadmaster 6-wire trailer connector on our 2018 GMC Acadia.